Hello Tarot fans, welcome to another edition of Blue Six Tarot. I'm your fantastic host Blue Six and this is Forecast Friday. Now in today's video, I wasn't quite sure what decks to use uh, for Valentine's. I mean, if you were following me on the social medias, you'd be seeing I was using this deck for the card of the day, um, uh, the uh, Tower of uh, Sexual Magic. However, <clears throat> I thought I could use this for my YouTube channel, but I might have to age restrict the, uh, the video uh, because of boobs and whatnot. So then I thought I could use the Tarot um, Favlor, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce, to pronounce that. And then I thought, you know, because it's nice, cool, gothic, goth and goth is pretty sex is a pretty sexy look. Then I thought, I don't actually like this deck by Victoria Francis. It's nice artwork, but I don't really like reading with it. And then I thought, oh yeah, didn't I just do a review of another deck? So I thought, sod it. So we are using the uh, Lascott, Lasco. Sorry, I, th I assume it's pronounced Lasco. Got it wrong. My apologies. I've got it right. It's good to be right. And um, so I did ask in my last video um, if the format, if the format was, uh, if everyone enjoyed the format, and they seem to. So we'll be doing um, the reading for the week for next week. And so basically we'll be using seven cards one day a week and the base card at the bottom as the root. So let's just see how this goes. I said um, if you guys do do prefer this format do let me know please and also like share and subscribe. Our uh, channel's hit 511. Um, I am still planning on doing my um, special episode um, as a thank you for 500. However, due to technical issues, brackets, my other laptop breaking, I've not actually been able to plan to do it yet, but um, unfortunately due to technical issues. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, I should get it done in the next few weeks. But anyway, enough about that. Let's take a look. So we start off with Monday, which is the Eight of Swords. Tell you what, I will quickly adjust, there we go, that's a little better, the Eight of Swords for Monday. So at the beginning of the week it's kind of, the, there feels to be a lot of restriction. Um, not necessarily not necessarily self-inflicted but more of there's not necessarily a feeling or, or an easy solution to actually deal with. So there's a, there's a lot of uh, restriction uh, uh, for you on Monday. Tuesday we have the Six of Coins. I always prefer saying Coins to Pentacles, so we've got the Six there. And uh, that's kind of showing more on Tuesday that there is there is help um, to, there is help out there to help push forward and sometimes it may be coming in a um, in a guise of which you're not familiar with or help from a source that doesn't necessarily help that isn't necessarily helpful or hasn't been helpful in the past but is helpful now so for Wednesday for hump Wednesday because that's the thing apparently for hump Wednesday we have the death card everyone's favorite card and that's it oh, that's focus a bit yeah so yeah so for Wednesday, uh, being a, mo a major card, um, um, uh, kind of this, the assistance from the day prior is going to have a massive impact on the rest of the week. So you're actually able to move forward and do dramatic steps to actually continue on um, without the restriction. And now without the restriction in place, there's a lot of things you're actually able to do that you didn't think you'd be able. There's more things you'd actually be able to achieve. You've got, you now have more tools in your arsenal to actually get things done. So for Thursday, we are we have the High Priestess. Yeah, so we've got the High Priestess. 
So I like the fact that that's kind of like a bubble, it looks more like a bubble than a crystal ball. So for Thursday we've got the High Priestess and so now with the change from fr uh, from Wednesday um, you've kind of now got the uh, time, focus and kind of inspiration and push to focus more within yourself and to kind of look at your, once again, kind of look at your own abilities and allow yourself to uh, grow in a more spiritual way, focus more on how you are and how you feel rather than working hard to get stuff physically and just more, not metaphysically, but kind of get more stuff spiritually or something more for you and your, for, something for you and your soul and your mind rather than just extra stuff to fill your house. So Friday, it's a good card, we have the Eight of Wands. And uh, so basically it's all steam ahead. You're all, um, you're kind of, you've kind of got your, insp now you've got, <laughs> now, you've, now you've removed the restriction, you've got your inspiration and you're kind of doing a bit of um, self-reflection. That's giving you the push you need and then so for Friday it's basically here is where I feel and I want to have more of this so I'm gonna go get that more I mean that's not grammatically correct but you get the idea so for Saturday I keep losing track of the days so Saturday we have the fall so you're now gonna to start to walk so basically you're now gonna to start to walk into uncharted territory and so therefore and you're going to be um, taking some uh, very new and different, new and or different steps to move forward. So now you're in, now you're in this position of right, learning kind of what to do with the energy that you have, um, be it metaphysical energy or literal or that enthusiastic push. So now you're in this. So on Saturday you're in the situation where you can kind of take that sort of thing in new directions and actually decide to either take on more things, learn new things, that sort of thing. So you're kind of being pushed forward and to take different directions or it might even take you into a path or a direction of which you didn't consider prior. So for Sunday, we have the Three of Wands. Let's focus in a bit. So you've got the Three of Wands. Oh, excuse me. And uh, nice chap there. So for the Three, Oh no, sorry, that is Lady. Uh, anyway, so, so for the three, uh, so for Sunday, you're basically kind of planning, it's now planning out your next steps. You're now in this new scenario. Uh, from Saturday, you're in the new scenario of going into a different direction or learning a new, like, but more like learning a new topic or subject or something else, to, not necessarily something to focus on, but you're, so Sunday is more kind of, a day to sit down and plan it's like I'm now here and I've got these different options what would be the best thing so it's about sitting down and planning now just because you're planning doesn't mean you're not putting any energy or you're even wasting your time because obviously when you're in a scenario where you've got a lot of push to go forward and then one day you sit down and try and plan it out it feels like it might be a waste because you're like I could be doing rather than planning but this is but Sunday is a day where it is a good idea to sit and plan because you might find yourself in places you wouldn't consider being. Um, so sometime, so Sunday is a day to sit down and plan it out. So now look at the base card for the root of the week. And the root card is the 10, one ten, 9 or 10. The 10 of cups. So, sorry. So the, the kind of root for this is, so this is a woman holding a baby. Uh, yep, woman holding a baby. And uh, nice people dancing in the background there. So it is a case of finding your own joy, but kind of within your with within within your own area, within within your household, within your family, within within your friendship group. It's about finding happiness in that in that sphere rather than trying to find it outside of that sphere. So it's not necessarily that you need to go out and do something new and go to new places. It's more about how, um, finding new ways um, to, f finding new things 
to deal with within the bu within the bubble in which you're in. So you're not trying to go out to get new things to add in. It's more of not making the best of what you have, but building up on what you have rather than trying to get new things and incorporate them in. So that was the forecast for the week. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I'll be releasing a flip through video of this deck on Sunday because I've got to post something on Valentine's Day. And uh, as I said, I hope you enjoyed. You can also follow me in the social medias, link down below. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.